Horizontal mattress sutures are an important technique for the aspiring surgeon to perfect. They are particularly useful in the closure of deeper wounds, due to their ability to oppose the deeper layers and remove any tension from the approximated superficial skin edges. We tend to use horizontal mattress suturing to close wounds in anatomical areas where the skin edges tend to invert or roll under. For example, the palm of the hand, posterior aspect of the neck, or in the groin. We perform the suture by taking two deep bites, then moving horizontally along the wound, reversing the needle and taking another two deep bites. Once the needle has returned to the original side of the wound, the suture may then be tied and the horizontal mattress suture secured. We introduce the needle at the same distance from the wound edge for every bite. Typically, this is between 5 to 10 millimeters. This nicely closes the deeper aspect of the wound whilst allowing the skin edges to approximate without there being any tension. We start by picking up the far wound edge with our tooth forceps and inserting the needle and 90 degrees to the skin edge. We take the first deep bite, then pass the needle smoothly through the skin via supination of the wrist. We then reposition the needle and take the second deep bite. When taking the bite of tissue from inside the wound to the outside, it's important that the needle exits at the same distance from the wound edge as the bite on the opposite side entered. So again, between 5 to 10 millimeters. The needle is then reversed and using a backhand technique, it's passed approximately the same distance from the wound edge, however horizontally about half a centimetre to a centimetre along from the previous bite. It's important that we maintain the same depth for each bite of tissue that we make with every pass of the needle in the suture, as it helps to ensure good symmetrical wound closure and cosmetic result. Once the suture needle has returned to the original side of the wound, the suture can then be tied by performing a standard reef knot or a surgeon's knot. It's important that the knots of the horizontal sutures are tied securely. However, we should always avoid over-tightening, as this can place unwanted tension upon the wound, which could lead to poor wound healing and an unpleasant cosmetic result. If we're using monofilament sutures, then we'll have to use additional throws to the knot to prevent the knot from slipping. Once the knot is secure, our assistant can then cut the suture using suture scissors and here we can see the inverted skin edges which are nicely opposed without any tension. We then place additional sutures halfway between the first suture and the edges of the wound as you can see demonstrated. We would then place additional sutures midway between the sutures that we've already placed and also midway between the lateral most sutures and the lateral edges of the wound. The sutures should be evenly spread along the length of the wound and approximately 10 millimeters apart. This ensures that the wound is adequately closed and that tension is equally spread over each suture.